Hey everyone, in this video we will learn about a DAX function called contain string. So for example, if you want to uh, check a particular string to see uh, if it contains some text or not. So this is the DAX function to do it. So what I've done is let's just go to the data tab and I've created a table called date demo, which is just date key English day of the week and month, which are both strings. So for example, I want to uh, have a flag which tells me it's January or not, and then I want to do something. Uh, so just uh, randomly making this up. So what you do is you just go on here and you say a new column and you just say um, Jan indicator is equal to contain string. So I'll select that um, and then I'll just go English month name. And then I will just type in and hit enter. So you can see it's just telling me when it's January it is true otherwise it is false. So I've also got the documentation open here with me. And it says that returns true if one text string contains another text string. And this is not case sensitive. So what that means is that if even if I change this to let's say J it doesn't change or let's say if I change this to um, so it's not really fuzzed it still uh, just compares the strings uh, irrespective of whether they are lowercase or uppercase also it says you can use question mark and star wildcard characters so I think how it would operate is that let's say for let's say we've got uh, March and May so let's say it is M and it starts with M so I'll just do an M star and press enter and you can see March is true and May is true other months have become false so if I put the question mark and press enter it still shows March and May as uh, uh, true, which I, I don't understand. I thought it would either uh, be a star or a question mark. It would uh, be like, so I thought star would be for all the characters after M, doesn't matter. And uh, question mark would be just for the second character. It's working in a way I don't understand at the moment. But um, yeah, it's just an example of uh, using the contain string. So. I hope you find this video useful and um, thanks for watching this video and if you do come across uh, why this May and March and the question mark and star behavior is, do let me know, I would love to find out. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video, please do uh, subscribe to my channel or like my video if you are enjoying what I am doing. Um, thank you.